Whenever I am out of the studio, there are times that I need to print out some documents from my emails and get them signed out before I return to the office. And it is kind of inconvenient to search for a print shop to do just that. And I haven't been able to find a mobile printer that is as convenient as this one. This is the HP RT MT810 mobile printer, which I've been using for a couple of weeks. And I can tell you that it is a lifesaver. And let me tell you how this mobile printer works for me when I'm on the go. Now, HPRT may not be a name that you might associate with printers because they are actually not officially here in Malaysia, but rather they are actually quite big in Amazon and they focus a lot on mobile printers like this. So this is the latest MT810 and we are looking at this really nice young looking packaging because this is actually the Qingchun Ban, which is the young version of the of the printer that's why it looks very young and it appeals to the youngsters all right so let's just uh, do a simple unboxing over here and take the printer out so that you guys can see how simple it is now this is the device now it is not really heavy to be honest when you hold it on hand it's probably about six to seven hundred grams like this of course it will weigh a little in the bags but whenever you need a printer to print out some documents or agreements on the go this is going to be a lifesaver all right so this is how the printer looks like and you also get a USB A to C cable for connecting to your PC but even if you don't have a PC it will also support printing over Bluetooth and that is how amazing it is all right that's pretty much about the packaging now as you can see right over here the HPRT MT810 is a really simple looking mobile printer so you get a power button right over here and you also get a connection LED indicator right over here to tell you that it is connected over wired or Bluetooth you get a USB-C connector on the left over here for you to connect over to your Mac or PC which is really convenient so you might be wondering how do you load paper onto this thing well it's actually pretty simple because there are two push buttons one at each side right over here and once you just simply push them down and the cover opens and this is where you load the paper so basically the MT810 is using thermal paper so it is actually a inkless printer you don't need to load up any toners or mess up with any ink cartridges on this thing because these papers are actually thermal based papers it's just like those uh, receipt printers that you see on pos machines in restaurants and so on it is using a similar technology right over here right so what you need to do is that when you buy this row of paper it is actually pretty easy to get this kind of paper in stationery shops or even online so once you get this kind of a4 row paper you just basically just just uh, take off this knob here it is basically just like this so make sure you insert it properly into each side of the paper row and you simply just load it up put back into the printer just like this make sure the paper comes out a little bit just like how you do it to your thermal receipt printer and close it there you go so you will basically waste a little bit of paper uh, depending on how you control how high you want the paper to come up but it is uh, what it is you do have to waste a little bit of paper when you actually load uh, this kind of thermal paper into such kind of printers and now we're going to try to print something out of this printer to show you the printing quality the HPRT MT810 uses an app called HyPrint, which is available as a free download on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now, this is how it looks like when you have successfully added the printer onto the app. Otherwise, for first time setup, you will just need to press on the plus button on the top right here and just add the printer and it's a really effortless process. So it is connected once you launch the app, which is actually really, really good. There's no complicated pairing process at all. So in order to print something, so all I need to do is to press click to start here. So it will offer me a couple of sources to, to pick where I want to print from. So let's just go to iCloud and pick some documents here. So I'm gonna pick this Valley Coast uh, document here. So it offers me a couple of uh, uh, paper sizes to print. So I'm going to pick A4, which is the standard size that most of us will print. So this is how uh, you pick this slice right over here. So it is a PDF file. So uh, there are a couple of buttons right at the bottom here, including scope. Scope, it actually means how, uh, what pages do you want to print. So I'm just going to print the current page. And for the settings page, I can actually choose how high, I, how high the density I want to print. Uh, any numbering options at all and, uh, and the number of copies and even printing styles as well. I can actually choose my printing style 
here uh, instead of uh, the earlier one I can actually change it to A5 or some other custom papers that I want to so I can even just rotate my content as you can see it has already rotated in the background already or even go to an A3 exam paper but I'm just going to try this content rotated 90 degrees all right there's even like an image processing feature that kind of sharpens the image a little so uh, you, you can kind of uh, do cropping on the image here which I'm not going to do that at all and even apply some filters right over here which is actually pretty cool of what this app can do right over here now unfortunately it does not have color printing because this is thermal uh, printing guys so it actually depends on heat it hits up and it actually uh, has some black in on the plate per here all right so let's just press on next and we are done so once we are sure that we want to print let me just press on current again otherwise it's going to print 53 pages at a time and i'm just going to press on the print button right now all right and easy does it it's going to take a bit of time for it to send the data over and there you go All right, as you can see right here, the printer has successfully print out my slide and the image quality looks pretty decent here. So after printing, you will need to manually tear out the paper because there's no auto tear or there's an auto cutter right over here. So what you need to do is to just tear out really, really carefully, just like this. All right, so there we go. This is how the printout looks like so unfortunately when tearing out if you are actually not careful as you can see i actually did it very gently already you will actually find some uh, jagged edges at the bottom here just like how you see on a receipt printer uh, that's actually kind of normal so i would actually suggest that you do not have anything that's right under here and probably if you have a ruler you might just want to cut off this part if you can afford to do so but overall if you look at the image quality right over here the hprt mt810 prints out really really good image quality now that you have seen how well the MT810 can print out images such as PowerPoint slides, let me show you guys on how well it can print text. So on the screen recording that you're seeing right now, this is a two-page press release. So we are going to print out from my email right over here. So let's just tap on the share button here. So I'm going to tap on share file via and we're going to choose the high print app. Let's tap on more because it's not available on the list there. And we can just head on over to the high print app here. All right, so once I'm in the app right here, I should be able to just print. All right, so it's parsing, it's downloading. Let's wait for a bit. And I'm just going to tap print to A4 size. And once I'm done, and I'm going to tap on print right now. All right, and we are done for the first page, all right? So we can continue to print on the second page. Of course, we can just tap on print again. All right, so we are done printing our two-page press release and I'm gonna tear off the paper really carefully, just like this. Now, as you can see right over here, the printing quality is actually pretty impressive. Text is sharp and I do not see any fault with the printing at all. So it's just that when you print a two-pager just like this, you will need to manually use a ruler or something to cut off the page break right over here, not unless you print one by one and you tear off one by one. So this is something that I think it would be good if they eventually add on a automatic paper uh, cutter when uh, it finishes, finishes one page so that it's easy for us to actually just cut off instead of using a ruler because it's not every time that you have a ruler uh, in your bag if you want to just make a page break just like this. All right, so yep, this is the printing quality of the MT810. It's very impressive nonetheless and this is a really useful gadget if you want to print something on the go. In terms of battery life, HPRD claims that it can go up to 26 hours on standby, which is actually very impressive. And I would assume that you can print hundreds of copies of paper before it actually runs out of battery. And that's pretty useful. So that's pretty much for a first look at the HPRD MT810 mobile printer. It's a really, really nice portable printer on the go and it is maintenance free. 
This printer will be launched on Indiegogo really soon on a campaign and early birds who sign up for the notification will receive a 30% discount off the printer's original price and I think that is going to be a great deal. I'm not sure what the price is going to be but I'm sure it is going to be attractive nonetheless. So that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't and give us a thumbs up if you love what you saw and we'll see you guys in our next video.